How to issue a consolidated e-invoice in my invoice pre-prod. Introduction. Seller can submit consolidated e-invoice to IRB on monthly basis, provided the buyers do not require an e-invoice. In this case, the supplier consolidates all receipts monthly and submit them within seven calendar days after month end to IRB. For example, for August 2024, receipts, submit consolidated e-invoice to IRB before the 7th of September 2024. Please take note, then you are allowed to submit a consolidated e-invoice during the six months relaxation period. How to issue consolidated e-invoice in MyEnvoy portal? We are using MyEnvoy preprod to illustrate. Log into MyEnvoy's portal testing environment via the link below. You can refer our previous video on how to set up MyEnvoy preprod. Go to MyEnvoy preprod. Make sure you choose the right profile. Since I am issuing consolidated e-invoice using a company, I need to switch my profile to a company. To create new consolidated e-invoice, go to the section, New Document, Select Invoice, Select Latest Version, V1.1, Click Start. E-invoice code is your internal reference number. Click Override if you want to use your own number. You can use the auto-generated date by the system, unless you want a specific date. You can only backdate 3 days. Then, click Continue. Supplier information is pre-filled based on taxpayer profile set up earlier. Select ID type identification card number. For buyer info, type NA for the identification number. Type E19010 for TIN number. Then, click Validate. Type General Public for name. Type NA for address line 1. The rest will be automatically changed to NA by the system. Then, click Continue. Click Add Line. Select Classification Code 004 for Consolidated E-Invoice. You can input any descriptions during the six months relaxation periods. After the six months relaxation, you need to put your receipt number or invoice number. For quantity, always input 1, and measurement select 1 for consolidated e-invoice. For example, total rental collected say, 20,000 Malaysian ringgit. Scroll down until you reach taxes. Click add tax type. If you have service tax or sales tax, you need to choose the tax type applicable to you. If not, select not applicable. Then check the details and click add. Check the details again before submission. If all are in order, click Sign and submit document. Sign by selecting your identification number. Click Submit and key in your password. You will receive a message below upon successful submission. Last, click Finished. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more info. Hey! struggling with e-invoicing, we've got you covered. Join our hands in training and learn everything from the basics to advanced invoicing using my invoice portal. No boring theory, just real practical skills you can use right away. Plus, enjoy a free handbook, small class sizes, and even a one-hour consultation. Sign up now for the early bird price of RM399 before April 15th. Don't miss out! Please like, share, and subscribe our channel.